What you are about to witness is a mask off moment. DSP, Darkside Phil, the entitled streamer that has been begging on the internet for 15 years, went completely ballistic and started berating his audience to a level that I haven't seen in a very long time. It is a total mask off moment where you truly see what kind of a despicable human being this guy is. He's not even trying to hide it anymore. Just because someone is criticizing him and is criticizing the way he's telling a story, he goes completely apeshit. What happened is that he started playing a new game called Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. And in that game, there are some characters that are getting persecuted and slandered. Now, he couldn't help himself but play the victim and saying that this is basically his life. Now, people were calling him out saying that's pretty cringe. You know, you're being really unwatchable right now. And he went nuts. Check this out. That they say and do about me that's completely falsified. That they have absolutely no concrete evidence of at all. But they say shit all the time. All these crazy conspiracies they come up with. And YouTube allows it. YouTube just allows slander campaigns for personal gain. <clears throat> it's insane. Now, in reality, it's funny because, you know, by the way, how about this? I don't know what the f idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like, he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb f memes. So take your meme and show it up your f ass because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually f based. Just because I'm dark side Phil doesn't mean I get to ignore f facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily f***ing basis. Shut the f*** up! It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? What a complete snowflake. So someone is criticizing him, saying he's cringe, and he has a temper tantrum that would put my four-year-old to shame. I mean, does he not realize that haters are a necessary part of your YouTube channel? They leave comments, which boost your algorithm, and they give you watch hours. Who cares if they criticize you? Just ignore them. Or like he does all the time, just block them. That's a snowflake move. I don't do it, but he can. But to start berating your entire audience, you just look like a fool. And this is how he earns the hate. He keeps playing the victim and acting like the world is against him, but then he'll have temper tantrums like this. It's like, make it make sense, dude. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the f*** it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the f*** up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my f ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily basis for years. So shut the f*** up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? But is it a factual observation, though, that the characters in the video game berate and e-bag for years? Did they whip out their Johnson and start stroking it on a live stream? Exactly. I didn't think so. Once again, playing the victim so that his dumb viewers send more money his way. It is unreal. This guy is so manipulative and always manages to put himself in the victim's seat in every single situation. He never did anything wrong. He did everything correct. Yeah. And I'm fucking pissed about it because I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? I can't say a fact? What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? Kiss my fucking ass. Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King be bitch. You're gonna say dumb shit like that in the fucking chat? And everyone else who said that too. Because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day, right? You dumb fucking. Shut the f*** up. No one cares about your bitch-ass, memeable opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle-jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense, and no one f 
cares about you except your circle jerking community. The problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the f I want and you like it or you shut the f up. Now, you got a problem with that? Test me, bitch. So you heard that, right? Right out of the pig's mouth. He's saying you have to listen to what I'm saying and you have to like it. People are not allowed to call him out. They're not allowed to disagree with him. It's really a cult mentality when you think about it. It's like thou shall not challenge the cult leader. It looks like he really wants an echo chamber instead of a real community. Because I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to have people come in here on my streams and in fucking other videos and say, Oh, he's just, oh, look, you know, I'm like him, just like me and him. Just, shut the fuck. No one even knows what you're talking about. I've never even heard the meme before because I'm not an asshole. I'm not a fucking dumbass mouth drooling idiot. I don't follow the dunces follow on the internet. It's my life I'm talking about. Right? And it's true. Follow the plot of this game. This is exactly what I've gone through. I've lost tons of business opportunities. I've lost the ability to branch out on the internet as a content creator M tons of people hundreds of thousands of people will never check out my content because all they hear is conspiracies about me right Th what they'll do is now they'll take this actual segment of my podcast out of context and just show look phil abuses his viewers by swearing at them instead of actually showing the reason i'm doing it that people are mistreating me, that people are being horrible to me and my family and everyone else. And then when I finally call it out, oh my God, look, in the game it's happening just like what happened with me. Oh, that's so cringe that he would say that. He'd think he's such a big egotistical. Egotistical? How is it ego fucking tistic to state a fact? You fucking buffoon. So he was claiming that detractors, and I consider myself a part-time detractor at the moment, are not going to put the context and are just going to show him in a negative light. But I gave you guys the context. I saved you 10 minutes of a boring explanation, but I told you exactly what it was. He was comparing his life to a video game. People called him cringe and he had a meltdown. That is the truth. And he's blaming the detractors for losing opportunities. Maybe if you didn't jerk off on stream, then you would have more opportunities. But obviously any company that sees that won't want to work with you. That's on you. The detractors didn't turn on your camera. You did that by yourself. You are so dumb. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. That means you're an idiot. You understand? There are a lot of people on this planet I don't like, but they say true things sometimes, and you better wise the fuck up and listen. Or shut up about it, because no one cares about you and your drama community on the internet. There is an entire culture of stuff on the internet based on this level of hatred, based on this level of hearsay and tabloid bullshit and it's ruining people's lives and mine is one of them there is literally no fucking reason whatsoever that i should not be in the twitch partner program zero i never did a damn thing to deserve that treatment but a campaign of slander was held against me and those idiots at twitch as unprofessionally stupid as they fucking are said oh we don't want to deal with this drama so we'll just remove him from the partner program we won't ban him from the site because i literally didn't do anything wrong but as we remove, remove him from the program now we have no liability people keep complaining about this guy right so yeah it's happened to me a hundred percent concretely that's not how it fucking works that's not fair that's you're a bunch of bitches every one of you is a little coward Really, you're all nobodies, the people who do that shit. You're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. Everyone, and every one of you bitch-ass content creators out there, well, all you do is talk shit about people all day and you call it the news? You're the most worthless humans on earth. Right now, if you all had fingers snapped away by Thanos, no one would care. You're all replaceable. Every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet. Nothing positive. You're nothing but a blight on the planet. You're a big hemorrhoid on all of our asses who are trying to make a positive living and help people on this planet. You're the problem. 
Okay, so he's saying that people like me that do reaction content to temper tantrums on YouTube are the biggest problem on the planet when we're replaceable and we don't bring in anything. How is his content any different? All he does is complain that this game is trash and that game has terrible netcode and these developers are fucking morons. It's a what are you doing that's any better? The difference, the big difference between both of us is that we don't beg like a bum in the street on a daily basis. This guy is manipulating, grifting off his audience and has zero remorse for it. It has become a way of life. Begging your audience for money should be an extreme last resort thing to do. If your back is against the wall, you don't have rent, you don't have mortgage and you are officially screwed and there's nothing else you can do. It shouldn't be a lifestyle. This guy has it all backwards. He thinks that begging is an honorable thing to do and calling out snowflakes and laughing at complete temper tantrums is reprehensible. This guy needs to take a serious look in the mirror and realize that the reasons why he has all these problems is right in front of his eyes. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'm not going to cover this guy too much. I want to be a part-time only detractor. I don't want to focus too much on him because after some time, it does get really exhausting to listen to his constant begging. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. We'll be taking a look at entitled streamers, degenerate pranksters, and public freakouts. So do me a favor, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.